Welcome back to Africa 54. Well, many people who learn English think they have a good grasp of it until they watch an American TV show or speak to someone from the United States. Then they realize there's a lot they do not understand. And as VOA's Elizabeth Lee tells us, there are now classes just for learning American slang. Venice Beach, California attracts many people seeking sun and entertainment. But for Hussein al Shekhri and his classmates, it's a living classroom. I have an assignment to uh, talk with people. Their teachers are strangers they meet on the beach. First one, jam. Jam? Yeah. Oh. Well, we could jam with music. Al Shekhri is from Saudi Arabia. He's taking a class on American street talk and slang. Field trips like this one. He tries to get chicks, remember? And classroom discussions make up most of the learning experience. So slang, uh, slang language is the only way to communicate and socialize with the people. Knowing the culture also means learning from American media. American movies are global um, and American music. Uh, so. They hear these words and they hear them used a lot and they see maybe people laughing at those words and they want to understand what's funny about that. Street talk instructor Ryan Finnegan points out the slang in TV shows as examples for his students. Zhang Jiuhua says the English she learned in China was very different. It makes my English style more academic and formal and a little bit stiff. I don't want to be that way. That's a hook for the girl. Zhang says with American slang and idioms, she can speak more casually and use humor. Through slang, she is also learning about cultural differences. There is a slang I love that drop that gorgeous. Because cause it's different uh, different culture. Because in my culture, my, I still remember when I was a child, my parents told me don't use that. That word is very rude and unlucky. And when I see that word drop that gorgeous, I'm curious, can I use that? Actually, I, I love that word. Finnegan says teaching slang has its challenges. Slang is extremely regional and extremely dynamic. So the slang from even one year ago is different from the slang of right now. Can men have a spare tire? Yes! Judy Tenka develops curriculum at UCLA Extension's American Language Center. She says instructional materials need to improve as demand for courses in slang and idiom grows. A lot of materials get outdated very quickly and it's very expensive to republish books frequently with updates. Um, and this is why online materials will, will be very popular. Yeah. Okay. With the working knowledge of U.S. slang, Zhang will return to China and apply what she's learned in her career. Are you down? Uh. Hussein al shekhri will be better able to immerse himself in American life as he pursues his education in the United States. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.